I will guide you always. I will satisfy your needs in your sun scorched land and strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. I was 28, pretty old for someone who's just starting a professional mountain bike career, and it, it wasn't necessarily planned that way. I never knew that mountain biking was a professional option. When I was younger, showing up to these smaller races where I would win and just thought it was because there wasn't anyone to compete against, it wasn't until later on that I knew that there were women towing the line that had a reputation, and that's kind of when I realized there might be more to this than chance. I turned pro in 2012, so only a year after racing amateur uh, for one season, and I also found out that I was expecting Layla. It's easy for mom guilt to creep in when I take time away to train or go to races, and I don't want Layla to grow up and feel resentful to me for not being present. As a mom athlete, I don't think there's any greater thing than having your child cheering for you on the sidelines or waiting for you to cross the finish line and how proud they are of you when you win. And when you don't, they're, they're there to, to kind of take the pain of that away and know that there's so much more depth to life than a race result. And so it, it does provide like a really beautiful balance when I first started bike racing, I felt like my results was the most important part for me to reach who I, who I felt like I wanted to be as a cyclist. Through experience and just being a mom, I don't need a race win to, to feel fulfilled because I, I have that and I think that's probably a big part of what I was supposed to learn from the, my chapter of cycling. I'm gonna miss it when I don't have it, but it's not gonna miss me back.